Welcome back, friends. It's Savage Sasquatch. We are playing near Automata. We're in our third playthrough, and we're playing as A2. And Pascal and... Oh, we can't pick up Copper War. Pascal and... Uh, his slash her village have been destroyed, and... Pascal, we got Pascal out, and Pascal was able to grab the children. I don't know why you have to save robot children, but yay for that. Um... So they've saved the children and escaped to the abandoned factory, or so it, we think it's abandoned. And we're arriving there now, and we're going to see what's going on in the factory here. Pick up this little item up here, and then we're going to go in. Interesting playthrough. Uh, A2 is a bit more fun to play than uh, 9S was. So every time it gives me a choice to play A2, I am over 9S. Pascal, are you okay? Uh, me too. So what exactly happened? I don't know. Some of the villagers just started to feed on each other. If you hadn't come along, I'm sure we would have met the same grim fate. Thank you. All right. These are a lot of little children machines. It's crazy. understand that machine life forms can regenerate as long as they possess the required materials. Is this accurate? Unfortunately, we cannot regenerate our cores. Cores contain the data which forms our self-consciousness. If one is destroyed, there is no way to restore it. We usually store our cores in safe places. But this time, the villagers had their cores destroyed as well as their bodies. I see. All right. Is the factory safe? So is this factory safe? It was once occupied by a cadre of fellow machines that had gone berserk. However, 2B took care of that threat. It is quite safe now. We've been using it for storage for some time. All right. Well, that's good. Still, if we're gonna hole up here, I wish we had more info to work with. Proposal. Unit A2 should secure the safety of Pascal and the children immediately. What's the hurry? Haste is predicated on data obtained from the recently restored cross-regional pod network. Wait, there's more of you? Affirmative. Cross-regional data reveals a large number of machine life forms amassing around these ruins. What? Uh-oh. Pascal! Ah, uh, A2! These are only level 40, so not the worst. Actually, they're going down like a sack of potatoes. Reinforcements are infiltrating the facility. I'll smash them before they can reach this room. You, you must let me help you. I will smash them up and kill them. <laughs> Pascal. So Pascal's going to come out here and lose the pacifist, the inner pacifist, and help us fight. That's great. Why are they coming after us? Why? We can sort it out later. Right now we have to take them down. Oh my gosh, Pascal has a unibeam. Let's make sure that we... won't stop! A2, I have an idea. Please buy me a bit of time. That means just uh, don't get hit for a bit. We can do that. Spamming the uh, evade button. Oh, could have come in handy there. Well, we should get health back, but with right here. Come on, Goliaths too? Oh my. Here, let's get some experience. All right. Pretty fun. 
fun, to be honest. Okay, this is getting a little ridiculous on how much dodging we're doing. It's a lot of damage going out at once. So I figure if we just go around to this other side of the uh, tank... Oh, no, the robots can walk right through it. With our <laughs> equipped chipset, it seems almost impossible to uh, to get hit or or to die. Oh wow! Oh, we got road killed. I'm trying to loot because I'm afraid that it's going to take away my ability. Yeah. I guess we can just work our way around the circle here and they'll just keep following us and not keep up for the most part. Alright, we're just going to go kill this Goliath tank. So when Pascal says, I have an idea, hold on. You know, I'm wondering if... Oh man, let's get this. Please let me loot the 15,000... 20, or no, 22,000 gold right here. I'm not hurting. They're still coming? Oh wow! See, that looks like fun. <laughs> Pascal has figured out how to take over the massive Goliath. We get to control this? Nice. Maybe not. I must protect the children. No, we are controlling it. That is waves and waves and waves of these things. I just don't know how to attack. That works. I don't know what button I'm hitting or if it's automatically attacking for me. No, this is, the game is controlling it. So we just get to watch Pascal. No? I still can't figure out if I'm, I hit the X button there, or no, the square button, and it did attack that time, but a lot of the times I, I press buttons and nothing happens. So while I enjoy the combat, I would not have wanted to fight all of this. Hopefully we swing in a nice wide arc. Yes. It's a good thing that these guys all decided to attack us in basically a straight line. We could have opened with that. Oh boy. Goliath fight. <laughs> Engels. All right. 
hit one goes to Pascal. I'm still not sure my controls, I just kind of hit buttons and it seems like it makes me attack. But it's still a pretty cool sequence. Hey, that guy's disarmed. Or maybe de-armed. Maybe he needs a hand. We did get hit there, but he only has got one hit left, and we still have all of our parts. So I think we just need to attack in a timely manner. Getting it, like, attacking in time is definitely really important here. Otherwise, you lose. Oh, come on. That didn't kill it. Well, I'll take a video sequence then. Hmm. Seems like a pretty good hit. I don't think he's getting back up. Turns out Pascal's got some moves. Are you alright, A2? Yeah. Thanks for the assist. I fear for the children. And yeah, as I suspected, it was not going to let us pick up the machine core. Uh, which means that's like 25, 30,000 gold lost. But so be it. We have a lot. We can get more. They do such a thing. I taught them everything. All my thoughts and emotions. I thought it would serve them well in the future. But instead... How would teaching them lead to something like this? Fear. I don't understand. I taught the children what fear is. I felt they had to know so they wouldn't rush heedlessly into danger. But instead... Fear destroyed them. It caused them to take their own lives. If I knew this could happen, I never would have. A2, I need your I I cannot live with this heartbreak inside me. I need you. I need you to delete my memories. And if not, then I need you to kill me. Initiating hacking to cut off memory circuits. Alright, I'm going to pause here and find out exactly what we want to do, because I don't want to mess this up. We haven't saved in quite some time, so bear with me. Alright, gang. I am back, and I wanted to read up on this, because I'm not super enthused with any of our choices here. And I'm going to just briefly explain what happens in each from my research. Um, so option one is that we de decide to uh, end Pascal's life, that we kill him. Basically just making this kind of like assisted suicide. Option two is that we choose to wipe his memories. Um, in doing so, he will reappear at his village selling valuable machine parts, which are actually 
the remains of his people, but he won't remember this because he won't know who he is. But it's a really sad irony that he's selling his people <laughs> um, for profit. The third option is that we could walk away and force Pascal to I, live with his grief. I cannot live with this heartbreak inside me. Which, you know, unfortunately, I would love to be able to get the machine parts because they are useful for upgrading and apparently it's one of the only ways to get some of these machine parts and to be able to get them freely would be really nice. But this is almost a philosophical choice. I think that, you know, some a lot of times things in life are really hard and we don't know how to deal with them, but we have to press on and so that is what I'm going to leave Pascal to do. I cannot live with this heartbreak. And Pascal may hate us for this. But I'm not going to kill him and assist suicide, and... A2, you aren't leaving me like this, are you? Please. You have to end this for me. We've seen so many other robots with... Despair. It makes you look back as you walk out on them. It's such a great... Um... How? How could you? A2... But, you know, perhaps Pascal will be able to get over this and get past it. Alright. Alright, so perhaps it's not letting us choose A2 anymore, so we're going to choose 9S now. Alright. Alright, so we will continue on here after in our next episode... This was a really heavy episode, and I don't know if this is A2's finale or not, but we'll find out. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to give us a thumbs up, and also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Until next time, it's Savage Sasquatch for GamingReportCard.com, and I am out of here.